Ada from BSU 1E of Novice University of Science and Technology, and this is Physics for Engineers 1. And in this video, we're going to talk about rolling motion without sleeping. So, a rolling motion is when an object is rotating and moving in a straight line trajectory at the same time. So, for example, this is the object that is moving in a straight line but it's also rotating at the same time. So this point here gets to be in this point and then back at this point at the third at the third figure. So that means this distance from here to here is equivalent to 2 pi r, which is equal to 1 revolution. The case here as well is the combination of the translation and the rotational motion because as we said earlier, the object is rotating and moving in a linear path at the same time. So, so that's why its velocity at the first figure here is all going towards that way. It all has, it all have the velocity values. This because it is moving linearly at the first figure and in the second figure, this object is now rotating, hence the direction can be different. The first one, the, at the top, it is towards that way, and at the bottom, it is towards this way. Hence, it has um, an angular rotation, an angular velocity times radius, and then a negative angular velocity times radius here at the bottom. And at the center, it has zero because of the contrasting ideas between those two. And for the third figure, we can compute that by adding this first figure and this second one. So, V plus omega R is equivalent to just 2V. And it is also equivalent to 2 omega R because they are equal to each other. So, in this one, we only have the velocity. So, that is also equivalent to omega r because they are equal and for the third one we have zero because velocity minus omega r or the angular velocity radius is equivalent to zero so yeah now let's move forward to our sample problem a car with tires of radius 31 centimeter drives on a road at a 70 miles per hour speed First, calculate the angular speed of the tires, and second, calculate the linear speed of the tops of the tires. So, let's first write our given values. We have a radius of 31 centimeters, which is equivalent to 0 0.31 meters, and a velocity of 70 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 31.3 293 meters per second. So we have here our given values. Let's first solve for the angular speed of the tires. The angular speed is equivalent to velocity over radius. Because as we can see here, velocity is equivalent to the angular speed times the radius and since we are looking for the angular speed we are just going to divide both sides by radius so we can cancel this and then we will end up with this equation so we're just going to substitute the values we have 31.293 meters per second over 0 0.31 meters and our angular speed is equivalent to 100.95 radians per second. This is for our first question. For the second one, we are looking for the linear speed of the tops of the tires. As we can see here earlier, we already know that the final linear speed of the tops of the tires is equivalent to 2 velocity or the 2 angular velocity times radius of the tires so since we're looking for linear speed we're just going to use the velocity we have two velocity so that is equivalent to two times our, our initial velocity here is 70 miles per hour 70 miles per hour so by calculating 
our velocity is equivalent to 140 miles per hour. This is the top of the tires is equivalent to 140 miles per hour. If we are asked for a different unit, we can just convert this into that particular one. But since the um, but since the problem is asking for nothing, we can just let it be. So anyway, the angular speed that we got in this problem is equivalent to 100.95 radians per second, and the linear speed of the top of the tires is equivalent to 140 miles per hour. So once again, this is Rolling Motion Without Sleeping, and I'm Camille Pajariliaga. Thank you so much for watching.